In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Today is a good day to sit and ponder. <laughs> it's raining. Welcome back. Still using our GoPro because we got the Handycam fixed. Yes, except we went to record something with the Handycam and it started shaking again. So anyway, welcome back to the GoPro footage of us and our camper. I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's day like 437. It's the, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm as it's old as Noah. It's the RV renovation that never ends. Yeah. It like, goes on and on, my friends. Yeah, no, she got you we singing it. We just started in. remodeling, not knowing what we were doing <laughs> and yeah we'll continue doing it forever just because this is the, <laughs> the never ending model that doesn't end. rv remodel yeah so <laughs> it's raining which sucks because i was planning on cutting some wood and all that and i don't already coming back and forth we're dragging mud inside our brand new beautiful floors the counter is ready to go back in except for the plumbing and we had a leak here i know i saw the leak we were told that the leak was in the bathroom but there might have been one in the bathroom too. There was definitely one here. And it, I found out why. So, the, these are called shark bites. Mm. Um, or, or shark bite plumbing or whatever the, the bag says. It's shark bite company. So there's different fittings. And there's supposed to be this little, I don't want to call it a nipple because that'll make people laugh. But there's supposed it's to be this, this little plastic piece in there that does the sealing when you push it onto the pipe. And so it wasn't in place. And now I'm gonna show you really awesome stuff. Everybody in the RV world talks about shark bite. It's because it's amazing. It doesn't come off unless you have a little tool um, because the way that it crimps down on the pipe, which is beautiful. You don't have to glue anything together. You don't have to have threads for anything. But basically, you're going to take this little guy, which is $1.19 at Lowe's, and put it on. So, on this one, there's this little piece that's right there. It clips in there, and then you just kind of grab it and work it, and then poof, off it comes. So, when you look at this one, there's a little, what I call the little nipple thing, right there. And this one doesn't have that. So that was creating the problem. Dang. Here's what we found out. Not only was that the problem, but these are female fittings and the faucet that we bought needs to have male fittings to go into. So this is the, the pipe, the hose that's gonna come from the faucet, come down from the faucet here and go into our pipes at this end. So we needed a male end. We bought our male fittings. right here and so you can see it's got its good little nipple in there all right all right and how this is going to work is this is going to go on the pipe and then this fits perfectly to thread in to the faucet like so of course i'm going to tape using plumber's tape i'll tape all the connections but i just wanted to show you the general idea because i think it's going to actually work out this time most things don't work out for us. If you haven't figured that out already. What we're going to do is, because this is about 18 inches, I need to cut back the pipe a tiny bit. We're trying to do all this plumbing here to check for any leaks before we put the counter back on because it's so much easier to work in this space without a counter. And it is not convenient. Once we put the counter on, it's not going to be convenient to take it off. So. These are my pipe cutters. It would go right through your finger, so you must be careful. And I'm going to cut right about here. Okay. 
just like nice. that. And it's created a nice clean cut on this end and on the end that we want it to be clean. While I got these out, I'll go ahead and cut the other one around the same. Just like that. And now, for the male shark bites. I'm just gonna stick it on there, mash it down, and then when I try to pull it off, it's not coming. Which is what we want. If it gave it all, I would want to take it back and get a new one. So it's all the way in. Double check. It's all the way in. I can thread using white plumber's tape. You always want to use this when you're working with plumbing. Doesn't matter whether you're working on the house, boat, RV. Anytime you're working with plumbing, you want to work with the white plumber's tape. I can wrap those and then I can put our sink connections on and we can hook up our sink. Our goal is actually going to be to have our sink hooked up. Mm -hmm. So faucet. our faucet, sorry, <laughs> have our faucet hooked up so that we can test for any leaks. Because again, I think this is stupid that they built the sink in the kitchen right on top of the power. So we want to make sure yeah. there's it's no leak. Power. Um, because that's not cool. Tape everything up, lock it into place, do the same thing in the bathroom. So you can come with me into the bathroom. I'll only say that in this instance. <laughs> Otherwise it's a little weird if you're talking to people on camera, right? Well, they were in the bathroom with us the whole time like, in the last episode. Hey, you want to come to the bathroom with me? That's <laughs> sounds a little weird. So I'm going to go to the bathroom. You're welcome to join. If not, <laughs> go ahead and uh, skip forward in the video if you haven't already done so. Same story here, except instead of the shark bite, I had this old school PVC looking stuff. And that definitely doesn't work for what we need. So, I'm gonna take my handy dandy cutters and I'm gonna cut them too. These are also pretty long, so notice another residential faucet that came with its own adapter for us. So that is important to know because now we've stepped it up to a half inch, which is what our, our plumbing is. But this is pretty long, so this is what's gonna go into the faucet. And I'm gonna, I don't want as much wiggle in the bathroom, so I'm actually gonna go underneath, I think, that's what we agreed on. Yeah, cut it underneath. I'm gonna cut it just underneath this. Timber, there she goes. Here's the moment of truth. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Turn the water on. So we got that hooked up. And I need my flashlight. It doesn't have a battery here. on it. Oh, it, it does. All right, so I'm gonna have to run by you real quick. Okay. So up here is our pump switch. I'm gonna press it, and we're gonna look for leaks. I don't even know if there's water in the tank. I hear. Oh, it's, it's leaking. It's leaking. That's that's a me that's leak. Us. That's a me leak. That's because of my not having my gasket. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you to do the same thing in just a moment. This is dry. So hopefully you have the courage to press the button. No, because I don't want more water getting down here. <laughs> and that was squirting out a lot. So this was off. Okay, so I'm gonna go take care of this issue with Lindsay real quick and tell her it's okay for a little water to get out. Because I need to check the bathroom. I know why that leaked. It was because I didn't have my O-ring, which we know we're gonna go to Lowe's and get, and I didn't tape it. So right, once well, I'm gonna hold this. Once I do that, then we should be good with that particular place. I'm more concerned about any leaks in any other areas. 
Yeah, so that's good what you're doing there. Yeah. Can you reach the pump? Yeah. Okay, hang on. We're just gonna run it for, I don't know, five, ten seconds at most. Okay. Scream at me if it gets to be too much. Ready? Yes. All right, so we have leaks that I believe are me made because it's stinking O-ring. So I feel a little bit better about the plumbing. I did not get to flush the toilet, which I was looking forward to. We have to do it when we can leave it on. Yeah. So we got to go to Lowe's, but we got to go to Lowe's for other things too. So instead, instead of going to Lowe's right now, I may need another piece of cedar for the bathroom. I'm going to take a look at how I can get this part of our shower all fit together. Plus, we know when we go to Lowe's, we need to have our measurements for our Pipe. shower curtain, curtain yeah. run. So we'll make one trip to Lowe's. <laughs> whoever, trip. whoever makes one trip to Lowe's. We're going to try to make one trip to Lowe's to finish off a couple of these little jobs. But it's going to be more than one, I have a feeling. So while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this. Next time you see me, hopefully this is finished if I have enough cedar. If not, you'll see me grumbling. I do think we're going to be okay over here. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get to work on my little stuff. You get to work on your little stuff. This camper is big enough. We don't have to actually see each other while we're working. We don't have to be in the same place. Truck yeah. camper, we're always on top of each other. It was like, how do we survive seven years of marriage? Three of them in a truck camper. I don't know, but this thing's going to make it a little easier. <laughs> you can be in the back. I can be in the I front. I know, right? We have our own space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I don't even remember what we told you we were going to do, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a hole in our bathroom counter just because I'm in the mood to put a hole in something. So I got all fancied up with this guy. I don't even know what it's called, but I know it's going to punch a hole in there if I do it right. <laughs> and uh, hopefully don't screw it up because it's only $40. I mean, come on. Yeah. It's only two pieces of cedar wood cedar teak so oh I, never mind. yeah so we've kind of measured and we measured a bunch and we looked at it and we said this will work and we think it'll work so i drew a circle where i'd like to try to put it oh, this is scary yeah i'm not doing something right because it's not getting any it's torque. not going anywhere <laughs> uh. Go us. This is a tool I've not used on my own. Maybe it's going the wrong way. It's not spinning at all now. We shall be right back. Yep. You probably know how to use this tool. We don't. We don't. Okay. We think we figured it out. <laughs> I think we just had to put it right in there. We didn't need the extra sheath. So, let's see what happens now. getting it this, yeah. this is gonna take forever it's getting there it's just yeah it's just taking a long time wow Oof. Oh, my God. oh i see a hole so it's starting to go through fire uh, your whole bit. <laughs> uh, uh, fire <laughs> Oh, we're Our audience that. is a little too old for mostly. For oh, I don't know. I think. <laughs> you 
gotta be almost there. The drill's tired. <laughs> it came off. It's green. Wow. I'm taking a break. Careful. It's hot. Yeah, we were so stinking close. All right, we'll catch you later. We made a hole. Wow, that's thick. We made hole in hole. Wow, I'm glad it looks like that came off the bottom and not the top. <laughs> yeah. Chug it out. It's hot. The issue we may have is that this wasn't exactly Lot big enough for wide, wide enough yeah. for what we think we're supposed to have. So we always have these moments of truth. And the moment of truth has arrived here. Obviously we'll we'll be glooping it up. Put it in there. Mash it down in. Oh, it's just Oh. Just too narrow. We could thread it through. I think, I think it's... Oh, there, there, it, goes. there it goes. Yeah! Woohoo! So. I would want to do that again. Yep, there it is. So then... I don't know these parts are right there. This one over here, that's going to go... Like that, and where's my? Is that moving? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. So that gasket's what's supposed to hold the bowl down? Yeah. Well, definitely before we tighten it down a bunch, just put the silicone. Dead battery. Put the silicone around it. Yeah. So we were off by a little bit, but here, show this. Put this different P-trap on with the extendable. Yeah. We're barely off. Just a hair. So. Yeah, look at that. And that's it? Essentially. Decided we wanted it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right there. How does it look? Well, we won't get to hear your opinion because it's already going to be done by the time you watch this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't seem to be doing a good job stopping, but I don't really care if it stops water. That's strange. Why is it not pop? How are we going to do stuff? Nothing's going to wash down. It's not come up enough. There it goes. But that's not a big enough hole for a toothpaste, is it? That's strange. It's just because it's cheap? Probably. Make sure that's the right size, right? Yeah. Just wanted to make sure it was merged. Okay. That one's... But what's going under? Is this whole thing need to go under? Yeah, this should be fine for this one. Because this looks bigger. Yeah, this thing comes up from the bottom. Oh, okay. Okay. And take the sink back out and then punch the hole over there and then uh, figure out how to screw into here, get it all locked in. Because I'm pretty sure it's not going to leak when we put the water back together. All right. Bye, Felicia, for now. Look who joined us. The puppies. Say hi. <laughs> My love bird.
<laughs> That's her spot. Actually, she stole that spot from her brother. She stole it from Huck. Huck discovered that spot a while ago. And Evie took it. Yeah. She's a spot stealer. <laughs>